Three, once the state fair happens, it's going to be really hot, right? Well, we're kind of in luck for the first weekend of the state fair near normal July temperatures. So we're going to feature those temps starting on Friday, pushing about 90 degrees. So then right in those mid to upper 80s as we go right into our weekend. Direct sunlight, yes, there is a chance of maybe hearing a rumble of thunder or two for both Friday and Saturday, but overall those chances are kept pretty minimal. So why are we turning up the heat? Well, we have a high pressure over us right now. That's why it's cool. That's why it's just wonderful outside as we're setting up for the state fair. But I will say as we have a ridge building, that heat, is still taking place over much of the western half of the country. Even the east coast is really uh, hot and muggy as well. Uh, but once we're into Monday, some of that heat is making an appearance back again into our forecast as we go into uh, the North Dakota region. So for today, I thought we'd just take a look around the temperatures over the coming days because that's really what it's all about. And so for today, we have them very comfortable. 82 in the capital city, 78 in Minot, all the way down to Buffalo, South Dakota, 89 degrees. So I think there's a chance of hitting 90 somewhere in the southwest like Bowman. But no matter how we look at it tonight, we do fall back to those mid 50s, clear skies, calm winds. Our winds now are starting to turn out of the south. Today it's an east wind, tonight a south wind, as well as through tomorrow. So that's going to be the start of that initial temperature trend where we're going up as well as bringing in more humidity. So it won't feel maybe too pleasant uh, for Thursday afternoon and then if not for Friday afternoon because we're going to still increase that dew point temperature. But we turn to the mid 80s for us along Bismarck, 86 degrees for Friday to 88 in Baker, 94 in Glasgow. So still warmer to our west. But when we look at the thunderstorm chances, there's not that many. I'm not forecasted to have any severe storms at this point in time, but do know we are going to be having enough instability coming through the atmosphere for those thunderstorms as we do have a short wave trough coming through. Uh, severe storms, yes, are at a level one. If you are in Buffalo, South Dakota, uh, to maybe headed to the Black Hills for a weekend. Uh, but we do turn to that high pressure system that we're talking about now. North winds to an east wind as high pressures go so uh, clockwise in movement. If it was a low pressure system, that would be counterclockwise. And so this is rushing in some of that cooler dew point temperature as we go off towards Devil's Lake and Grand Forks, say versus into Sydney and Williston, where it's a little bit more of that east southeast wind. Uh, and so temperatures right now already 80 degrees in Henninger. That's where we're going to get well into the 80s versus now Minot is 71. I think we'll stay in the 70s there. So in all honesty, this is a really good seven day forecast. Just minor precip chances. Krista precip as in thunderstorms in this case for both Friday and Saturday, but kept to just isolated to scattered. That's great, especially as the state fair kicks off. That's yeah. good news and so many other outdoor activities. You can't you can't name them all, but oh, it's going to be a great weekend. That's right. Thanks.